Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here and today I'm giving you a first look review at the brand new uh, CL Companion Binoculars from Swarovski that I am lucky enough uh, to have behind me. But first off, I wanted to talk to you about why binoculars are so important for wildlife photographers. Because, you know, in the past I've been out on location, I've overheard people say like, oh, you know, I don't bring binoculars because they're heavy and I don't need them and, you know, I don't want to see anything that I can't see through the camera. And, you know, yeah, I, I totally understand that it's something extra to bring, but I honestly think that binoculars are a key piece of equipment for every wildlife photographer, uh, and there's a couple of reasons why. Firstly, you know, they're great for scouting out locations. I did a video on this recently that I'll link up below. You know, scouting out locations, finding out uh, where you're going to go and how you're going to get close to your subject, looking at the line of the land, where to position hides and things like that, they're brilliant for that. You know, secondly, when you're actually working in the field and waiting on location for your pictures, you know, if you can pick off your subject when it's 100 meters away and watch it come closer, you are ready to nail that shot uh, the moment it's perfectly ready for a picture. You know, and that's really important uh, when you're working out in the field. And thirdly, of course, you know, just being able to enjoy wildlife. You know, having a great pair of binoculars allows you to see those subtle details, you know, those feather patterns and all of that wonderful stuff. You know, and sometimes you just want to head down to your local nature reserve, sit back, relax, grab a coffee, and just enjoy watching some wildlife. And you know, as someone who's very much as much as a wildlife enthusiast as a photographer, you know, my binoculars are always the first thing that I grab for in my kit. But yeah, let's look at the new companions. So the reason the companions caught my eye a couple of years ago when they were first released was because they fulfilled a lot of the things I wanted in a good binocular. They were compact, they were small, they had excellent optics, and they were rugged for use in the field. And those three things are really important to me. You know, really big, heavy binoculars, as much as those larger object lenses allow you to get better optics, they are a bit heavy and cumbersome to always have with you. And when you're already carrying a load of gear, a smaller set is definitely what I was after. And looking for a load of compact binoculars, I'd never been satisfied. So when the Companions cut out, I was really interested in those. Now the original Companions that came out a couple of years ago, I tested those out and they, they were pretty good. They were a nice pair of binoculars, um, but there are a few things that I really wanted upgraded um, to really pull them in line with what I think Swarovski's, the rest of Swarovski's range have. Um, and with the new versions, God, I've got to say, they tick all the boxes. Really happy with those. And this is a review based on my own money. I'm going to be purchasing these with my own cash. Um, so I'm telling you, you know, Swarovski lent me them to test out before I purchase. Um, and, you know, already straight off, I know that I'm definitely going to have to buy a pair of these. But of course, they're not in the boxes because you can't review them if you haven't been using them in the field. So taking a look at the outside of the binoculars, what's changed from the old versions? Well, firstly, you know, just, you know, aesthetically, they look very much like the EL's. That is a massive compliment to any pair of binoculars. Um, the design is really simple. Classic Swarovski feel, um, the lovely rubberized outside, got perfect little thumb indents on the back that just make a really comfortable hold. Um, their single hinge design, you know, a lot of compact binoculars have double hinge that's really annoying because they go all floppy, but these just hold a really good shape. Um, and when you wrap your hands around them, they have a really comfortable grip. Um, my hands that are kind of medium size, um, just, you know, my finger rests straight on the, um, you know, the focus ring that is exactly where I want it to be. Um, and they're just really nice to hold in the hand. They're completely like waterproof, everything like that. So they're rugged, dependable for working in the field. Um, but also the subtle changes are really nice with these binoculars. Now the first subtle change that I'm a really big fan of is the move of the diopter. Uh, in the old CLs, it was round the right hand side of the upper eyepiece. And as much as I know that's a place where loads of binocular manufacturers put them, I hate it because basically you're holding binoculars, you knock it and suddenly you look through the binoculars and they're slightly out of kilter and things aren't in focus. Whereas now they've updated it to the design that is very similar to how the ELs work and how the more expensive binoculars work, that it is inside um, the kind of main focus knob. Um, so you're just, you're just not gonna knock it. So you can set it once and then you're ready to go. Um, if you're unused to setting up binoculars, basically what you're gonna do is uh, of course, pull the caps down, look through them, uh, you're gonna close your right eye, focus everything up on your left eye, get something really sharp and focus, and then closing your left eye, look for your right eye, and then using the wheel here, you're gonna push in and turn until um, you get that pin sharp. And then when you look back through it, they're gonna be absolute 
pin sharp um, and the optics of these are phenomenal uh, so yeah you know really good that they've changed that there I really like that um, I actually think that's a massive upgrade in terms of these binoculars now additionally you've got great eyepieces on these you know they just pull up and they click into place and they don't go down so many cheaper binoculars you know they just go they kind of go half down you get one up and one half down but these they just lock nicely into position and they're gonna stay there. Um, the field of view is exactly the same, uh, whether you have them down for uh, glasses or up for people who don't wear them. And that's really great. Again, you know, really good quality. The whole construction of these just feels superb. Um, and I'm really big fan of the updates they've made. Additionally, they've also changed the design of the strap. You know, you don't have those little lugs on the side, you have their new um, kind of, I don't know, like it's a push in and turn and then the strap comes off, that's really good. Um, really like the design of this, you know, easy to pull off. You have the uh, little kind of piece that fits in, you just push it down, get it in position, and then just turn it to the side and then that's locked in place. Really easy system, you know, really nice and flush to the side. Um, it just makes them look a lot more elegant. Um, and again, you know, it just doesn't take up as much space on the side and fits really nicely around the hand. That's really good. You know, all these little improvements, they might not seem like much, but when you use your binoculars for, you know, hours and hours at a time, they really do make some big differences. Now, in terms of what you get with these, um, you firstly can buy them in two options. You can buy the 10 by 30s that I have here or the 8 by 30s. Personally, you know, I will probably purchase the 8 by 30s. These are the 10 buys uh, that Swarovski have sent me for a quick uh, review and loan. Um, 10 buys are great if you want to pick out details and you're more of a bird watcher. But for me, the 8 buys have the benefits of being, you know, you just get a much stabler view with eight times because you've got less magnification. You get better low light performance um, in terms, you know, just because you've got that reduced magnification. And I just find that largely eight by um, is a little bit closer um, in terms of what I might get from my camera. And I find that really handy. Um, so as much as 10 bys are great, I personally will go for the eight bys when I buy these. Now, additionally, you get, um, different packs with these so these have the wild nature pack and basically what you get is um i'll open the box you get a nice little protective carrying pouch that i will never use so that can go in there uh, and you get a strap um there's a couple of strap options you've got this one that's the classic nature then there's a um northern lights one that's a nice gray color and an urban one that looks a bit more like a seat belt um but again you know it's a neoprene strap really well designed and when you wear this for a long period of time you know it really does just take the weight out of the binoculars and makes them really comfortable to use it's easy to adjust you know it's a strap and it works really well you know really like those and of course you get the eye cups and everything that you go now in terms of the optics i've been testing these out for two weeks and i've really wanted to put them through different paces i've taken them out early in the morning i've taken them out pretty much at night and also through the day and i've got to say Wow, just wow. You know, I'm used to using a pair of 42 mm um, larger binoculars and just the image quality these produces is much superior. Um, the low light performance I was blown away with because a 30 mm object lens, most of the time, um, you know, you don't get that great low light performance, but with these, the clarity was excellent. And of course, you know, it's gonna be reduced compared to something like a 42 mm pair of the ELs, but for most occasions, absolutely superb. Looking for optical quality, the sharpness was brilliant, clarity is brilliant. The slightest bit of coma, you know, in the absolute minuscule corners when I'm looking at a tree and kind of rendering it out of focus to get it right. But you know, you can't complain, they're absolutely stunning. Um, and looking at birds and watching waterfowl with these were absolutely glorious. But you know, why would you buy these compared to a larger pair of the EL as well? Firstly, of course, they're cheaper, but for me, there's a key couple of reasons that I was really interested with these over the ELs that were the other ones I was considering. Firstly, they're more compact, they're smaller, they're lighter weight. These only weigh um, about 400 grams, I think it's 390 grams, it's fantastic. You know, when you already carry a massive bag of camera gear, having these being smaller and lighter is a really welcome treat. You know, the optic quality, you know, is pretty much up there 95% of what I've seen through the ELs. And, and yeah, for the reducing price, the reducing size, the compact nature, that is just brilliant for me. And because, you know, 
I'm using them for scouting, I'm using them for finding locations and watching birds. I'm not primary only working with binoculars, so they are kind of an assisting optic rather than my primary camera and stuff like that. So in terms of the reduction in cost, but also the benefits of the size is what really draws me to these. The ELs, I think if you are mainly a bird watcher and you're just using binoculars, they probably are a better investment, but at being nearly twice the price, um, I would say, core. These are just stunning value and, and quality. And of course, being lightweight, you can just take them everywhere you go. So what are the downsides? Well, I think if you had really quite large hands, they might be a little bit crowded for you. Um, but for me, with medium-sized hands, they're absolutely fine. You know, for the lowest of low-light performance, they're not going to stack up compared to the ELs or something like that. But, you know, for 99% of occasions, I really can't see... Um, a huge benefit of the ELs for me over these, especially when the lightweight nature, compact uh, form factor of these is really the big selling point to me. So uh, I can't wait to get these and use them in the field all next year. But yeah, if you're looking for a lightweight pair of binoculars with great quality and excellent optics, you can't go wrong with a pair of the new Swarovski CLs. And I mean the new ones, um, but I'll drop a link below. Fantastic, brilliant. Um, well done, Swarovski. Really, really nice. Um, I don't want to give them back, but uh, I, I know I have to. Anyway, that's it for today. If you have any questions about the CLs, drop them in the comments below. More than happy to get back to you. Uh, if you want any more information about different wildlife photography, if you've got anything you're like, Tom, can you do a video on that? Stick it in the comments below and I will be down there. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, put a like below and subscribe for future videos. Thank you very much and crack on shooting.